Hi Danny, Phil Beaver here from the Wilderness Club. Just want to recap on our lesson today. So if you look at your swing here on the left, takeaway goes a little bit low and inside, face opens a little bit. We're, we're leaving all that alone at the moment. Top of the swing is a little bit short, but it's, it's good enough at the moment in that position. Club face isn't too bad. This is where things needed to change in a little bit. We can see your shaft plane there. Now ideally the shaft plane will drop underneath this yellow line uh, and also almost flatten. So what I mean by that is, you know, lots of pros would start to move this direction. And if we look at yours at the top here, as you start down, you can see your shaft actually goes above it and actually steepens. So we can see here at this frame now, you can only, you're swinging left, the shaft is cutting through your left forearm, club's only going to go to the right of the ball, and now you can only ever but swing left and across it with an open club face. So we needed to soften that out quite rapidly. Uh, we put the cone in the way, and the idea is for you to swing this way, in to out, with the cone. So you're going to try and miss the cone on the way down. And now if we look at your plane line, we can see here as you start down, Danny, you'll see that actually when you start to come down, doo -doo 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 -doo, here we go, look at the club. It, one, it's moving to the left of that line, but also it's flattening. So we can see it's actually parallel there, sorry, bad line, parallel there to the other green line at the top. Not a great picture. Uh, coming down again, look at it, smiles from the inside. It's really good. And you can only now but exit out to the right. So that's the key, really, is trying to feel that motion. Now, how do we do that? One, we'll, we'll put a silly cone in the way, which gave you the feeling. But actually, if you think about it, really, we're just trying to hold that right shoulder back. If we hold that right shoulder back at the top and don't start the downswing with it, we can then start to let the arm swing out to the right. Then we needed to tidy up the club face. So I gave you a drill where I turned the club around so you held the head of the club and asked you to make a swing. And you probably, when we did that, your noise, or whoosh as we call it, was past the ball. Now when I did it, it was literally as I started my downswing. So I'm releasing the club so much earlier than you, which is why I hit the ball a bit further. So we're now trying to feel that the right shoulder stays back, but we're really letting them hands flick past us as fast as we can to allow that club face to now release or close uh, out to the right to hit that little high baby draw that we're looking for. So we're holding the right shoulder back, letting the, art, letting the hands flick or release past us uh, and out to the right to hit that little soft draw. Hope that all makes sense, Danny, and I'll see you soon.